jumping over from shared hosting to a BPS can be a bit scary, especially since a BPS doesn't have a website manager like you would on a shared hosting. On shared hosting, you buy it and you're ready to go to install websites. Now, from a different perspective, BPS can be more powerful, more flexible, but you have to manage it. In that case, you need a BPS manager. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to install server avatar on a Hostinger BPS. So let's get started with this tutorial right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? Like I said, I'm going to show you how to install a BPS manager on a Hostinger BPS. Now, before I do so, I want to show you their BPS plans to show you that there's an extra discount coupon code that you can take advantage. So jump over to the link in the description, jump over to hosting, click on BPS hosting, and in BPS hosting, you're going to find all the BPS plans available. In this case, I'll select the most popular one, which is $6.99 a month, and you're going to see this extra discount coupon code. Now, in this case, you're going to select the amount of periods that you want to buy this BPS plan. In this case, I recommend 24 months because you lock in the lowest price and the renewal price is also lower. Now, for the extra discount coupon code, you can see right now the price is $167. Well, if you add my coupon code, have a coupon, and type in SAS Master or just copy it from the description, you're going to get a lower price of $150 for the 24 months. So it's a great deal. Now, let me show you how to install the BPS manager. So basically, I already went to the process of the initial steps for a BPS, selecting the region and the BPS name and password. So in this case, let's jump over to our BPS. In this case, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to go to manage. And this is where you're going to find all the details to install this on a BPS manager. Now, be aware that if you installed an OS that is not compatible with BPS manager, then you need to reinstall it. And that's down over here on OS and panel. In this case, I recommend you use Ubuntu 22.04 for server avatar. Okay. In case you select the, the wrong one, just go into OS and panel. Or if you forgot the password, choose plain OS and we're going to choose Ubuntu 22.04. This one right here. Okay. And be aware that if you do this right now and you already installed some sites, it will be deleted. But if it's a new one, just don't worry about it and just do a refresh install. Okay, so let's jump into server avatar and to install this, go into add a new server and we're going to select custom and in custom, we're going to select a server name. I'll say Hostinger, the IP address, which is found right here. And then you are over here and then you're going to add your root password. That's the one you created. Let me go ahead and type the one I just made up right here. Uh, enter SSH port 22 is okay. And then you have cleanup servers. So if if it has previous files, it's going to clean them up. Now, from previous experience from Hostinger, they do have a bit of files there. So yes, keep this on for a successful installation. Okay. Then you can select the technology that, when you, that you want to use for this VPS. And you have optimized lamp, you have optimized lamp and OLS stack. I prefer open light speed instead of Apache and Nginx, but it's going to depend on the type of sites that you're going to install. If it's WordPress and most PHP sites, OLS is the choice. Okay. And then you have the option for the type of database, MySQL or a MariaDB. My choice, MySQL, but you can decide what you done, what you like. Okay. In this case, I'm not going to start node and I'm good to go. So I'm going to connect now and it should be successful once it connects with the IP and the password. Okay. The server has been created successfully and it's going to install the files that it needs for the BPS manager to work. Once that's done, we're able to install websites, PHP sites, WordPress sites and other type of sites. So let's give it a few minutes for this to install. There we go. The installation has finished and we got a server panel for our BPS from Hostinger. Now we're going to find all the details from our installation, like the EOS it has, server provider custom, the open light speed, MySQL, and we have the information for the CPU that is used. Two cores, time zone, uptime. Now the CPU use and the cores is going to depend on the BPS that you bought on Hostinger. Okay. And you have the amount of applications. That's the websites and databases. If you install a WordPress site, it will automatically create the database. So it's super easy and straightforward. Okay. For applications, you're going to go over here and you're going to create one and you're going to install your website. You got your databases, application users, firewall, file, file to ban, cron jobs, logs, services, etc everything right here. Once you have this, you're ready to go to install sites. Now, this is what you would normally have on a shared hosting, for example. But in this case, you have you have all the flexibility and options that you need to install more advanced sites or just have your own resources with a BPS. 
So stick around for the next video and I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress site on server avatar. So don't forget to grab the discount coupon code that I provided for the hosting or VPS. And that's a wrap.